With all the new changes in Season 4 such as new mythic and scoped weapons, new mobility items, I've finally found the best controller settings for this new season blue pool. This will have you full piecing every Timmy up and aimbotting them out the air. The settings will be at the end of the video, but if you haven't got the season 4 battle pass and you want one for free, keep watching this video, giving away a bunch of battle passes to my subscribers for free. All you need to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel with post notifications on, use code Gloomzy in the item shop, and comment down below done once you've finished all those steps. I'll be doing these giveaways throughout the whole week in my other videos, so make sure you guys have those notifications on. First game we're heading to Eclipse Estate, you guys know this is my favorite POI so far. Alright, that is no good. I got no guns here. Wait, what? How did I win that? Nikkei 30? Oh my. I might be the luckiest player ever. Don't edit that, buddy. Uh, 80 oh, peace. oh my gosh 200 unfortunately i don't know where the guy with the mythic went but it's all good oh my gosh 50 oh, peace. oh crap edit i missed 200 I was a super close one. This shotgun doesn't really hit as hard, but it's decent. This has to be the coolest mobility item they've ever added into Fortnite. Ain't no way. Oh my gosh. Nah, this gun's absolutely broken with these settings. Now this shotgun right here, this one is crazy. Oh my gosh, this is what I'm talking about. These settings are crazy. It's a literally aimbot. Oh no. There's a guy underneath me. I'm thinking I just impulse in right here. I'll try that again. I'm in. Edit that. 100. Give me that. 200. And he had the key card. Let's go. I got the mythic stinger. And let's get out of the vault. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Nah, these settings are crazy! Guys just spamming C4s. Dead. Let's go. If you guys aren't convinced by now that these are the best season four controller settings, I don't know. This guy has mythic charge. Let me see if I can pop this big pot. Oh, he's a crack with the impulse. Hundred. No, I can't edit that. He's gonna one pump me with that charge. And he's running away. This guy keeps running away. Shot me through that, bro? How? I knew it, he was gonna do that. Let's go. We have the mythic charge now. This thing is crazy. It can 200 pump. 
Comment down below what do you guys rate the new season. For me personally, I think this is a solid 9 out of 10. There's a bunch of new mobility and a bunch of broken weapons which are easy to get. You have the... This guy doesn't even know. Bang! Oh my gosh, 200. The mythic is so broken. 12 kills right now. Comment down below how many kills you guys think I will finish the game with. It's looking like a 20 bomb, maybe. Oh my gosh. No, that's so bad. The AR is so broken. The AR is the most broken gun in the game. I don't care what anyone says. You can die in like two seconds. Are you coming towards me or just running away? This dude, man. Like, why? Gosh, I'm moving. Doubles. Oh my gosh, let's go. No way. The slurps? Yes, I needed those slurp juices. This is the most broken weapon in season four so far. This is basically a red eye and an MK had a baby. Hundred. Why is he gonna be dead? Sixty one headshot. Let's go double headshot with the AR for the win. Gun is absolutely broken. So jumping in right into the video. chapter four with season four said, controller to... settings. Before with we that start, being I know said, I'm playing on the PlayStation right 5 new in chapter this four video. Season four controller don't let settings. that discourage you if you're on Xbox. These are the exact same settings I use on Xbox, and I've made earnings on both Xbox and PlayStation. These are universal settings. I'm crazy on both Xbox and PlayStation with these settings, but starting off with the graphics here, I play on 120 FPS. If you guys aren't on 144 Hertz monitor or 120 plus Hertz monitor, you guys are really missing out on 120 FPS, especially my console players. Then going on to the brightness, mine's on 130%, one for the user interface contrast. And for the colorblind mode, I switched mine from 10 colorblind. It used to be 10 colorblind with no um mode on. But I think Tritono 5 is like a perfect brightness. Tritono makes it a little bit brighter, so it's a little bit easier to see in zone. And then for motion blur, I have it off and then show FPS on. Moving on to the next page for the replays, you guys want to turn off all three replays. This will help lower your input delay. If you guys have them on, it gives you delay, especially if you're on console. And then for the preferred item slots, the main one I would recommend is having your shotgun in the first slot right near your pickaxe. And then the rest could be whatever you want. And then I play with built... And then for the auto confirm edits, I have edit on release and reset on release on. This makes it so much easier as a controller player. You don't have to click an extra button when you want to reset or edit. And then these are the other options. You guys can pause the video. And then moving on to the next part here, we have the reticle and damage feedback. I play with cumulative damage numbers, hits and icons. My damage number scale is at 125%. And then for the HUD scale, it's set at 70% with these options on except for the last three. And then moving on to the gyro settings here, just like the replays, if you guys don't use gyro settings, make sure you guys turn all of these off. This will help lower your input delay even more. And then to the next page for the mouse and keyboard settings, just like the gyro and replays, you want to turn everything off and to the lowest possible settings. These will help lower your input delay. If you guys have them on, it will just give you more input delay. And then for the actual settings here, I have controller auto run on, build immediately, builder pro on. This will help lower your input delay. Edit hold time, I have this at the lowest. This will help lower your input delay. And then slide hold time is at 0.04. And then for the camera axis and camera time, I don't touch any of these. And then vibration, you definitely want to have this off. As a controller player, you don't want your controller vibrating while you're playing. And then for the look sensitivity and aim sensitivity, I have it at 5.5. 5. And then for the build and edit multiplier, mine is set at 2.1. It's not too fast and not too slow. I think this is perfect for controller players. And then for the advanced settings here, my horizontal and vertical look speed are both at 43%. I have all the boosts turned off here, no horizontal boost, no vertical boost, no boost ramp time, and then I have instant boost when building off. For me, when I have boost on, it makes me very inconsistent. It does make me a lot faster, but I'm very inconsistent because the boost changes all the time. And then for the ADS sensitivity here, my horizontal and vertical look speed is both set at 10%. 
Mine used to be 11%, but I've lowered them a little bit after trying Miro's controller settings. And then for the ADS boost, just like before, I don't have any boost turned on. No horizontal boost, no vertical boost, no boost ramp time. And then I have no look dampening time down here. And then for my look input curve, I play on linear. I've tried both exponential and linear, and I still think linear is the more dominant look input curve. And then aim assist strength, obviously, this is going to be at 100%. And then for the dead zone, I would play a 10-10 dead zone, but right now my left stick has stick drift, so mine is set at 65 and then 10% for the right. So I'd have it at 10-10 if you guys are using my settings. And then for the audio options here, I have visual sound effects on. And then going to the binds here, here are my controller binds. You can look at my combat controls, my build controls, my edit controls, and finally my ability controls. Yeah, those are the settings 